This is Sam Phoenix Burns Fat, episode two, day two. I've lost just over a kilo in one day, which I was expecting after a heavy weekend, and it started to balance out. This is why I usually take weight with a pinch of salt. There's no way I've lost a kilo of fat overnight. I got to check out another beautiful sunrise on the way to clients, and after, I had a bacon and egg roll in the cafe while I sent out some emails. After training more clients throughout the day, I felt low on energy mid-afternoon and got myself a sugar-free Coke and a protein bar. I also had to replace my girlfriend's killer pythons that I ate over the weekend or the house would have been a war zone. No weight training for me today. I'm going to jiu-jitsu tonight, which I've been looking forward to as I've taken a few days off due to a sore shoulder. I'm sparring today with Simon, one of my training partners. He's been a blue belt longer than me and he's always a tough guy to roll with. Here I pass his legs and I'm trying to keep him pinned down without letting him use his legs to defend himself. I try to get his legs out of the way, but I've ended up walking into a triangle, so I've got to keep my elbow very tight to me. This is not a comfortable position to be in. Always a pleasure training with these fine gentlemen. I got home late, so I was very grateful that my girlfriend had made me saute chicken, rice and veg. Finishing the day off with almost 19,000 steps. So my calorie target to keep up a deficit has been 2,900 calories, but I've actually eaten 2,752 today, meaning I've actually eaten 148 less than the original deficit target, which yes, does put me in a bigger deficit. Now it's the end of the day, I'm not feeling particularly hungry, so I'm going to leave it as it is. And that means those 148 calories, maybe I could use them later in the week if needed. Start to think of calories a bit more like currency in terms of budgeting, and it's a whole game changer for you. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you on the next one tomorrow.